it's not often you meet, meet a prince and a princess. And I have to say that he was very knowledgeable about the club, um, asking all about Codger's injury. You know, what's the update on Sam Johnson? Um, you can tell he's a big Villa fan and uh, how privileged we are that he's chosen our club. I'm pleased, to be honest, that everything's gone off without a hitch. The rain kept off and they thoroughly enjoyed themselves and so we're absolutely uh, chuffed with the whole thing. Great stuff. But for the club like ours, you know, to have uh, the future king, or a supporter, is quite incredible. So we're very privileged. And uh, I have to say, as a couple as well, we're very, 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 very good company. And, and uh, it was a privilege to meet them. Come in, we'll show you the rest of them. Come on in. I think this, the touch of history that we showed with the Duke of York coming here to Villa Park back in 1924, I think was interesting. And it shows the status of Villa in terms of... Uh, not only the Royal Family attraction, but the whole popular attraction. So it's these sort of things that establish Villa in young people's minds as well. Well, he is a true fan for this great club. And uh, he, he knows everything about the club, as every fan did. He asked many very details. He asked a lot of things. He asked uh, uh, players. Uh, performs, uh, what, uh, what's our plan and everything. I think uh, as a club it's always very important to be part of a community or trying to enrich uh, everybody's lives and uh, that's one part of uh, our mission. It's the bedrock of the whole thing and that's what uh, William said today as well, that pride and passion is all about what they're trying to do in the Coach Corps programme and so Villa's perfect for it.